I'm Christopher Hine, and this week we're talking about haragi. So haragi literally means belly power, which sounds kind of like a weird way to describe something. But in general, it has to do with the alignment and the way I use my body. Usually we're talking about creating strength, so what makes me very strong, and either when I'm resisting force or making force, how can I use this haragi in, in a special way. So haragi is kind of a blanket term. So haragi could literally be translated as belly power or the power that comes from being in front of my belly. And that is to say that my hands work strongest right here. So when my hands are in front of me, that's where they work the strongest and with the most dexterity. As my hands start to get away from my center, I become weaker and also much less dexterous. So um, in order to have the strongest body alignments, I should always have my hands in front of my center. In addition to that idea of just my hands being stronger here and giving me more dexterity, the shorter my arm levers can be, then the stronger I'll be. I'm going to give you an example of that with Sasha here. All right, so let me bring Sasha in here. Okay, Sasha, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend my arm out and, uh, to the side here, and I want you to uh, grab a hold of my wrist and push my arm down. So I'm going to hold my arm out, I'm going to resist you as strongly as I possibly can, and go ahead and push my arm down, and I'm resisting as hard as I can. Okay, so at this lever length, right? So with this lever right here, if Sasha's at the very end of that lever, and Sasha only weighs 100 pounds, I weigh twice that, right? It's hard for me to keep her from pushing my hand down. So she has enough strength to push my hand down. If I were to move in here and she were to do the same thing at my shoulder, when she pushes down, you can see that she can almost lift herself up on me because I have enough strength to hold her up like that, right? So when she's on the close side of the lever, um, I'm much stronger, apparently, than when she's at the long side of the lever. So this is just basically the principle of leverage. So if Sasha sticks her arm out here like this, go ahead and resist as hard as I can. I'm going to push her hand down. Not very hard. Okay. If I tried to push up here, when I push it down, this is much harder. And that's because this her arm is working as a lever arm. And that means anything I put down here is going to be a lot more force for her muscles to work against than anything I put here. The closer I am to the fulcrum of the lever, then the stronger she will appear to be. If we bring a device in here, so if Josh could bring us that kettlebell. All right, so we have a 35 pound kettlebell here. And what Sasha's gonna do is hold it right here in front of her body like this. Now, if Sasha were to move it off to either the right or left, you can see she's starting to have a really hard time holding it up. She doesn't wanna hold it there very long because it's so heavy. But by making these levers short like this and holding it right in the center of her body, she's able to hold a much heavier weight than she would be able to do otherwise. Thank you, Sasha. So. The idea here of haragi is that my hands operate strongest right in front of me, right where my belly is. And so by trying to do everything I'm going to do with my hands in front, I will have the most strength that I can possibly have. This does two things. It puts me in the correct alignment, the way I'm built to be, to be working, and also shortens my lever arms with any force I'm having. If my arm's out here like this, I'm trying to do something way out here, then it's gonna be way harder than it would be if I keep my hands in here. And that's just simply where I'm putting the load in relation to the fulcrum. So if I'm lifting from my shoulder here, anything that's in here that's closer to my shoulder will be easier for me to lift. Anytime that weight starts to get away from my shoulder, which is where the fulcrum is, it's gonna be harder and harder for me to hold. So this basic concept of leverage is key when we're talking about haragi.